It is state championship week in Arizona. Long season, spring practices, summer workouts. It all comes down to this, and we're going to spotlight the games coming up. That's Eric Sorensen. That's Jordan Ham. I'm Jared Cohen. Let's start with 6A. Jordan, you're going to be our 6A guy. You'll be at the game between Mountain Point and Chandler. What are your thoughts? It's going to be strength versus strength. The Chandler offense against that Mountain Point defense. I think you could probably say those are the two strongest units in the state for each team. Um, and it's, yeah, like I said, it's going to be Jacob Conover, that deep running game between TJ Green and Ryan Johnson. You have two very good receivers on the outside and Johnny Johnson and Gunnar Romney. And then on the other side, you just have such a deep defensive line in front seven. And then Isaiah Polamau and Kenny Churchwell in the, in the secondary being ball hawks, uh, you know, making plays. So I think it's really going to come down to which unit performs better and Mountain Point put a licking on Chandler week three, 52 to six. I don't think that game is gonna go that way. It's so hard to beat a team twice in a season, especially when it's the talent level of Chandler and Mountain Point. 5A state title game now coming up. Uh, Williamsfield going up against Centennial. You've been to the last couple Centennial matchups. What are your thoughts with this game? They went down, they beat Sienega, the top seed, 56-21. Defensively, they are getting it done. They're going to have their hands full this week. Max Fine, Justice Stokes, two receivers, both over 1,000 yards, each averaging over 21 yards a catch. And don't sleep on Williamsfield's defense. They've been playing extremely well, especially in the red zone. The 4A state championship game, guys, I was at Saguaro's game against Sal Point last weekend. Saguaro is incredible on, on defense. We're used to, this is what I wrote about last Friday night, we're used to the offensive firepower, the quarterbacks they've had, uh, Christian Kirk, Byron Murphy, D Murphy, DJ Foster, and then all the offensive linemen that they've put on to the next level. But their defense is just hard-nosed, physical, long, fast, athletic, Catalina Foothills is a team that I compared to earlier in the year to a Scooter Molander type Brophy team to where he has taken a group of players that had a lot of talent and played them on varsity very early mm -hmm. and they have all grown up to each grown up together to the to their senior year where they now have an opportunity to compete for something big. And I do think they do have an advantage at least because they have seen Saguaro in person. It's much different seeing a team on the field as compared to watching tape but they're going to have to play the perfect game this weekend. They sure are. And, man, the way that defense is playing, I, I can't even begin to tell you. I was so thoroughly impressed. And South Point gave them a good game on top of that. So, Jordan, let's uh, Jordan, let's switch to 3A now. Um, another big matchup coming up between Sabino and American Leadership Academy. The one and two seeds are gone in this tournament, but I think these two teams, the way they're playing right now, could be the top two teams from this bracket. Yeah, Sabino is playing some of their best football right now. And then American Leadership Academy, uh, Donovan Hanna. He's just been a monster at the wide receiver position. Six foot seven, like good luck trying to cover him. 952 yards, 10 touchdowns on the year. So if Sabino wants to slow down that offense, they have to look at Hannah. Sabino's defense, okay? We've known about their offense, Drew Dixon, and some of the other weapons that they have. You have to play well on defense to get this far, and they have to this point. Yeah, Jay Compost's defense has been playing extremely well. James Offerman playmaking linebacker 126 tackles this year including 15 a season high last week in their comeback win over Sholo. Yeah, great senior leadership right there. And finally, the 2A state uh, title game, guys. Thatcher going up against Round Valley. I'll start Jordan. Thatcher has a lot of key pieces. This is one of their first state uh, title appearances in quite some time. And they have a lot of guys that need to play both ways in order for them to be successful. One of them happens to be their quarterback. When you have Jake Dunlap, who is the quarterback of the offense and on the defense, he's also the team's free safety. He had a big... Uh, 50-yard interception return for a touchdown last week in their win in the semifinals, a big overtime win. So those guys, those weapons, those guys that are out there basically from start to finish are key for them getting to the state title game, but they've got a big test ahead of them. Yeah, Kyron Wolf, the quarterback, 26 touchdowns, two interceptions, and then he leads the way in the rushing where there are four guys, Braden Brown, Sullivan Udall, Wolf, and Bryson Brown. They've combined for 3,744 yards wow. and 40 touchdowns. That's big time. So That's getting it done. Good luck trying to stop those guys you know so so that's going to be a big test there uh, for Thatcher. That's Eric Sorensen that's Jordan Ham. I'm Jared Cohen the golden ball is on the line for a state championship.